I'm Champ Chong, it is Monday, which means the weekend is sadly over. But what isn't over is your Xbox Live Gold membership, because I got four months for one of you guys. Stay tuned. But now, let's get to the clip of the day. Full is it. And they've got the equaliser. Ability is one of the football words these days. I think it applies to what we've just seen, Alan. Well, if they can use that throughout the season, it's going to serve them really well. They've certainly used it here. G'day guys, welcome to that show where I bring you the latest in gaming news. Now if you do go on to enjoy this video, make sure to smack that like button real good, and I mean real good, because yeah, now let's get to our first news report of the day, which is that the next Xbox console, which we can just simply call the 720 for now, is in development. We've heard of things like the Durango conference and everything else, but Microsoft have started sending out dev kits to developers. Unlike before how it was just rumored that Ubisoft and a couple of first party developers had the console in their hands, Microsoft are now making even more consoles that cater to even more developers. And with all this being said, it looks like the Xbox 720 will be on a schedule for the 2013 holiday release date, which is what I've marked down previously. Now, if you are one of those that are expecting to see the Xbox 720 get revealed at E3, sadly, you're not going to see that. Then again, we could see something at the end of the Microsoft press conference at E3, like a sneaky little preview of something or an announcement. You know, just to get everybody excited and everything. Yeah, that's pretty smart by Microsoft if they would do that. But anyway, back to the development side of things, many developers are creating new sections in their studios just to cater to the Xbox 720 development side of things away from their current generation works. And finally, these consoles that are being sent out to the developers possibly don't even look like the final retail version. They probably just look like a PC that's been modified to an extent, so don't get too excited about that. And speaking of not getting too excited and PCs, we move to the sad news. Sad news! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Sadly, the PC audience is getting the sad news today. Luckily though, it's not the saddest news out there, but part of this news does suck. Diablo 3 will be out in about a week's time and will be playable globally online. If you're not aware, Diablo 3 servers will be split up into three regions, America, Asia, and Europe. Australia and New Zealand, from what I understand, are in the American section, but I'm not too sure about that. Luckily though, no matter where you live, you won't be region locked and you can switch regions whenever you want so you can play with friends from all over the place. Sadly however, when you do switch regions you pretty much have to start all over again and recreate your character and you lose all your items too which really sucks. Oh and to add to the sad news, if you want to do real world money transactions in the game, you're gonna have to actually stay in your region with the players in your own region. So even though you can switch regions at any time the game is region free, it's a little bit tricky. My tip to you guys is if you're picking up the game next week and you know your friends are possibly picking up the game, make sure to go into the same region, which possibly is just your home region. That way, you're going to have some fun and you're not going to have any big issues. And speaking of big, yeah, yeah, big news. Big news! Jumping right into our big news of the day today. The next issue of OXM, the official Xbox magazine, will be receiving eight pages of Black Ops 2 information that we haven't heard before. The magazine will be available on the 22nd of May this month, obviously. And uh, yeah, if you're a subscriber, it'll be out earlier for you. The magazine will include multiplayer details, branching of storylines, the timeline of the story, and how drones will actually figure into the game. So yeah, that's that, and in some other Black Ops 2 related news, t-shirts have been revealed in the UK. So if you live in the UK, you can head on over to your local Tesco store and pre-order the game and you receive an awesome t-shirt, which is pretty cool. I'll see what I can do. I might speak to Activision, try and get you guys some t-shirts, and uh, that'll be pretty cool. And I might even get one for Gorilla Man, and Gorilla Man, you better give me that question. Question. Thanks, Gorilla Man. Okay, guys, Gorilla Man wants to know. Oh, wait, just before I do read this question, if you do want to win this, you're going to answer this question in the comments below. So, the question is, what game did you finish the fastest and how long did it take you? So, put your answer down below in the comment section. You could win the prize or end up on Wednesday's show. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to smack that like button real good because I'm Chan Chong, my accent's Australian. Here are the answers to Gorilla Man's previous question.